25 best SNES games. Number 25, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time is a fun game, particularly with two players and most especially for fans of the franchise who can appreciate how faithfully it represents its material. But it also didn't do anything out of the ordinary for the genre, and the inconsistent attacks do detract a little from the experience. Number 24, Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble Aside from the few new features, Donkey Kong Country 3 is pretty much just like the second game. Many people haven't played this one, but if you like the previous two, you won't be disappointed. One would argue that it's slightly worse than Donkey Kong Country 2, but it is still very much worthy of your attention. Number 23, Ogre Battle, The March of the Black Queen With its completely unique gameplay and unprecedented replay value, Ogre Battle is a game like no other. If you like strategy games, Ogre Battle should be right up your alley. However, it is a long game. It could take 80 or even 100 hours to complete, but it's a fun time the whole way. Number 22, Out of This World Out of This World is certainly well worth a look, and was a very unique game for its time. The quirky artwork and emotive soundtrack are as immersive today as they ever were. Players looking for a fast-paced action game might get frustrated with the trial and error nature, but those who like puzzles are in for a rewarding experience. Number 21, Zombies Ate My Neighbors If shooting everything inside and blowing stuff up is your thing, you're going to love this unusual Super Nintendo action title. It might be a little on the strange side, but anytime you're given the opportunity to shoot a zombie in the face with a bazooka, you know you're in for a real treat. Number 20, Super Star Wars Because of its popularity when it was new, it will no doubt please many former fans on nostalgia alone. And as a series, it only seems appropriate to play this first entry before moving on to the superior second and third entries. But newcomers to the series should be prepared for relentless unfair punishment. Number 19, Soul Blazer. It is challenging enough, but almost anyone can play it, enjoy it, and with enough time, finish it. And you will then find that it is a beautiful game with a beautiful message. All said, Soul Blazer is a pretty fun game that sets a dark tone that would be much more amplified by its followers. Number 18, Kirby Superstar. The difficulty is a bit on the easy side, but as anyone familiar with the series should know by now, difficulty is certainly not what the Kirby games are about anyway. It won't take you long to see why Kirby Superstar is widely regarded as the best release in the series once you dive into these entertaining adventures. Number 17, Contra 3 The Alien Wars This really is a great game and deserves to be played by any fan of the retro console and the series. It is lots of fun playing solo, but it shines even more brightly when playing two players co-op. Highly recommended.
Number 16, Demon's Crest. The ability to play the levels in different orders, not to mention the free roaming feel of the game, make it seem like an RPG at times. The fact that it's also chock full of gameplay elements just further makes the title enjoyable. It's fairly safe to say that if you love the Ghosts and Goblins franchise, you're going to love this spin off. Number 15, Final Fantasy 2. There's still something quite charming and engaging about the classic, a testament to its staying power, and any RPG fan who might have missed out on this legendary title need only give the game a try to see what all the fuss is about. Number 14, Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana is more than a series of tasks or quests, it's a journey. The action combat stylings of this game may take some gamers a little time to get used to, but in the end, what you're left with is a great action RPG that will leave you feeling quite satisfied when you finish it. If you're an RPG fan, you absolutely don't want to miss this one. Number 13, Star Fox. Star Fox was the first release in a new series that Nintendo fans now hold dear and it ranks amongst the fairy cream of Nintendo's long list of gaming glory. Basically, it is a pinnacle game, not just for the 16-bit era of gaming, but for the entire gaming world. Number 12, Earthbound. Earthbound, or Mother 2, is still a touching, engaging, genuinely brilliant adventure to go on. A lengthy experience that's wonderfully humorous and fun from start to finish. It remains an absolute must play for any Nintendo fan, and fortunately, it's much easier to play nowadays than it was for a long time. Number 11, Mega Man X. Mega Man X is one of the strongest action slash side scrollers in video game history and a title that more than lives up to the Mega name. Not only does it capture everything that was great about the original NES series, it also manages to add a wealth of new ideas to the mix without taking anything away from the overall experience. Number 10, Donkey Kong Country. You'll be having such a great time that having to retry again and again never feels like a chore. It's a very rewarding game and the wonderful pre-rendered 3D graphics holds up so well. And although it's not in the same league as the sublime Super Mario World, Donkey Kong Country still ranks as one of the better SNES platformers. Number 9, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Whether you're an RPG fan or not, you owe it to yourself to give this classic a try. Who would have thought that putting Mario into a traditional RPG setting would end up working quite so well? As good as Super Mario RPG was back when it was first released, the game only seems to have gotten even better over time. Number 8, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest. Donkey Kong Country 2 may prove frustrating for some younger or less dedicated players. For those who enjoy a challenge, this is probably one of the best games for the SNES. And if you're looking for a diverse platformer that'll take you a while to finish, look no further than Donkey Kong Country 2. Number 7, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. 
It's a brilliant adventure that forever changed the Zelda series and action adventure games in general. Amazingly, the game doesn't feel like a retro title even when played today. That's the sign of a true classic. To put it simply, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past is one of the finest action adventure games in existence. Number 6. Super Mario Kart Super Mario Kart has certainly made its mark on gaming history, spawning several sequels on successive Nintendo consoles, not to mention many imitators. To play today is every bit as enjoyable as it ever was. Sure, the graphics and sound may have dated, but the core gameplay is still top notch. Number 5. Final Fantasy 3 Final Fantasy 3 did wonders for the RPG genre outside of Japan during the 16-bit era. And if you've somehow never played Final Fantasy 3 in any of its various forms over the years, you truly owe it to yourself to experience one of the best releases the series has to offer. Number 4. Super Mario World While many retro games can claim to be a classic, not many are a solid gold masterpiece. Super Mario World is a masterclass in side-scrolling platforming design, to the point that modern 2D game developers should be encouraged to study it as a prerequisite of mastering their craft. Number 3. Chrono Trigger Chrono Trigger is one of the most unforgettable RPG experiences ever to grace a video game console. Even the first time you play it, you'll know that you're experiencing something special that you're not likely to forget. Not only is every area top tier, it brings so many new ideas to the table that give it its unique look and feel. Number 2. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island is a shining example of what a good platform game should be. It's both familiar yet original. It's rich and complex yet also simple to master. This game is the perfect showcase for what made the SNES such a great system. Number 1. Super Metroid Super Metroid is one of the greatest SNES games ever made and arguably Samus Aran's greatest outing. It's a blast to play, it's perfectly designed, and it's home to such replayability that even now dedicated fans are still trying to beat their best times of completion. If you've never played a classic side-scrolling Metroid game before, Super Metroid is the one to start with.